Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com, and I'm here today with Surf Dog. Surf Dog is live. You're going to hear his voice. And right now, Surf Dog is going to explain what he did today. He actually took an option in Netflix because I said that Netflix would gap up tonight, and I said there was no chance of failure that Netflix wouldn't gap up tonight. I said it absolutely will. No chance of failure. We'll make a new high. Go over 500 and... So he listened to what I said at the room this morning, and he decided to do an option. And we were talking, and I said, you know what? Why don't you explain exactly what you did? So go ahead. Take it away, Surf Dog. Uh, Melissa said, no chance of failure <laughs> on Netflix to gap up. So I bought five call contracts on Netflix. Now, how does that work? How much did that cost you? Uh, it cost me a dollar a contract, so it would be $500. I bought the 580 calls that expire in two days. Okay. Um, now, if I, it hadn't worked, what would you have lost? The most I could have lost was the $500 and $7.50 commission. Oh, okay. Well, then that's fine. Yes, and if... If it stays above 540, uh, I will make close to 10 grand. That's crazy. Risking $500. That's crazy. That's so great. That's like 20 risk units. Okay, so how much buying power did you need to do to do that? Uh, $500. Oh, that's it then? Yes. Wow. Buying power on options. So this is why you like to do the options. I know I, I know I prefer the stocks. I talk about this all the yeah, time. That's why, I, that's why I've been kind of trying to share with you that, that you can do options overnight and you lose no buying power. Mm -hmm, okay. So it's a great overnight strategy. In fact, it's the best overnight strategy because you can't get beat up for nothing more than what you paid for the options. If you would have bought a thousand shares of Netflix, or let's say you sold and shorted a thousand shares mm -hmm. and it dropped sixty dollars, mm -hmm. you've gotten killed. But if you would have bought five puts for a dollar, it could have dropped two hundred dollars. You only lose five hundred. Okay, like if I had wanted to risk $5,000 on this in an option trade, five grand. I said five grand because I said no chance of failure. If I had said I'm going to risk $5,000 on this thing, at the price it's at right now approximately or thereabouts, 530 something, whatever, from today earlier, how much would I be up right now? Right now, the second. 2000 probably times 50 because if you're getting a dollar, if you're paying a dollar, I would have made a hundred grand. If, yeah, because if you would have bought, you'd have bought fifty. So let's figure it out. If you bought fifty contracts, this is crazy. Yeah, that's twenty risk units. If I had risked five thousand dollars on this, I'd be up a hundred grand. Ay 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 ay. So no, you'd have made a lot more than that, girl. You you got fifty contracts mm -hmm. because it's a dollar. You're willing to risk five grand, right? Mm -hmm, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So 500 is what I risk, and, and I got five contracts, and you're going to risk it times 10. I may as well. I spent more than 5000 on the shoes yesterday. I can risk $5,000 in Netflix, so, and I can buy 100 pairs of my favorite shoes with this. <laughs> this is what I like. $2,000 uh -huh. contract yeah. times 50. Yeah, you'd have made a hundred thousand dollars risking five thousand. Ay 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 ay. So, so okay. I'm trying to tell you, you, you got you 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 got to do the options for your overnight plays. So for you, if like, does it pay you if you get out of it tomorrow, or is it better for you to hold it, or what's the time expiration? It, it, it expires on, these contracts here expire on Friday. Oh, okay. So I can hold them throughout the day to see where it goes, but I'm telling you, if I mark nine or ten thousand dollars, I will pay it and run. <laughs> Would that be the most you ever made in any option you've done with the things that I called? 
with the things that you've called absolutely without a shadow of a doubt, I've only made 10,000 one time, and that was back in 2002 or three when I shorted live cattle. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it came out on the news one night, and it said that there was a cow that tested for the mad cow disease in Canada. Yeah. And it limited down for three days. Now, I have a question for you. I know that in the room, in before I close out the room, you always ask me or I look at the ones and I say what I think it's going to do on the earnings. And I know that you've done the options before. How much do you usually risk? Usually. Usually risk about three, 300 to 350 Okay. So you risked a little more because I said no chance of failure. Correct. You should have taken a thousand. You should have risked a thousand. Yeah, but I, you know what? I didn't want to. I, I, I just didn't want to because I just. I've been. I told you I kind of been breaking, breaking even, and mm -hmm. and I, you know, I don't. I think I don't know if I told you or not. My dad died uh, a couple of weeks ago today. And no, I don't think you told me that at all. I didn't tell you that. Yeah. So you know, I've been. I, I actually uh, didn't trade for a few days. I'm sure you noticed I wasn't in the room, and and uh, so I just kind of getting back into it. You know. No, I mean when you go through stuff like that, when your head isn't on right, the best thing for you to do is just lay low. I, I hope that this motivates you now for earning season to really, really do well. I mean, I noticed that you were doing really well. You were getting very disciplined earlier this year. You were getting on track with that. Absolutely. I took no trades today other than buying these five contracts. Okay, exactly. Good. I mean, you could have done the market. You actually could have been doing I, Have you ever done any options? I've been calling in the QQQs and SPY. No. No, I always look. And, and the big money, the big money in options mm -hmm. is like this right here. When you buy them yeah. and it gaps 40 bucks, 30 bucks, that's where the money is in the options. You need a big move. And earnings gives you that because when I bought these today, I only had today, tomorrow, and Friday, and they expire. Right, right. This happened in five minutes. I mean, I was sitting here watching it, and I was like, oh, my Lanta. I mean, literally, here's 4 o'clock. 401, 402, look at this. I mean, this is 403. By 407, it was up at 542.18. And, you know, the thing the thing is that I, this is the first time that I ever said no chance of failure, calling a gap to even gap in the direction of the gap. Like, I, like I usually say what I think it's going to do, you know, predicting it before I rate it, because obviously you can't rate it until it gaps, because you don't know where it's going to gap. But I just, I just knew, I just knew this would gap up. I just absolutely knew this would gap up, and I'm really glad you did it. You deserve it 100%. You're doing well, and I, I'm glad you know how to do this. And and I don't know if I'll see another one like this sometime soon. But next time I say no chance of failure, I mean it's like, really, I mean, you might have to talk me into doing this. Just something with you right now. I just put in. Let's say this thing decides to run a little bit tonight, mm -hmm. and and it's already up. Uh, what do we say? It closed basically at 475. 25 and 40. Mm -hmm. 2 is 67. So if it ran six, another $13 tonight, overnight, and into tomorrow morning, yeah. if it runs up $13 more dollars above 542, yeah. which would make it uh, 42, 52. Um, 55, this thing would be worth about $34, which means each contract would be worth $3,300. That's crazy. That's so terrific. That's, that's, it's amazing. This is the power of the market. This is the power of the market. This is real money. This is money that you have right now. Like right now, this second, you have this money. Tomorrow you can take this out. You can take, the, there's nothing that this is going to do tomorrow that's even remotely anything different that much than where it's at right now. Like there's no way. You did it. It says it. You're up. Like this is it. This is the power of the market. This is the power of the gap. This is what buying looks like. And, and, I, and I saw it. And, I, and I'm telling you long term, and I know, you know, again, this is why I like 
it's holding stock positions as far as doing the equity versus the options, but I understand the cost parameters, but it's like Netflix is going to 700, 750. And I'm not saying that's doing that this year. I have to see what the market does exactly, but between now and 2016, those numbers are real. And even I saw this, I saw 500, like I'd have to even go back. I should just go back and listen to my videos. I saw here, this was 2013. And I knew in 2013, Netflix would hit 500. Well, you said you said today you told me it was going to gap over five hundred. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which I know. So, so look, and I went and looked at what the option was worth. Mm -hmm. Fifty dollars out of the money. Right, right. Okay, and and I thought, wow, you know what? This is a good risk. So I, that's why I picked the one that I picked because it was very cheap and it allowed me, it's a 580 mm -hmm. and I'm telling you, if this thing gets the 580, it'll, it'll be <laughs> really I don't know if it gets to 580 by Friday. That's when you have to get out of it by, right? Right. Well, I'll get out of it tomorrow because I'm leaving tomorrow to go to my pop's funeral, but I'll be in the room and I'll be here until about eight o'clock. Okay. So, so I take my laptop mm -hmm. and want to wait and give it one more day, but I don't know, like I said, I would grab, if it's up, up in the thousands like that, if it's eight, nine, ten thousand, I'll grab it and be happy on my trip out the door. So tell everyone here a little bit of background about you. I don't even remember when you took the class, when you met me. I know you were into options before you met me. Because I didn't teach you anything about options at all because I don't do options. But tell people here on the video a little bit about your background in trading. Um, I've been trading since 2000. And I've traded options the majority of the time until I met Melissa at Stock Swoosh, which was <laughs> back in February of 2014. Took the class. Um Buying and selling options and spreads is very, very easy, but getting them in the right direction is the difficulty, and that's what you have really helped me with and, and taught me. Even though I didn't see the gap, mm -hmm. when I looked at it, when you said it was going to gap, I, I didn't see it like you saw it, but I trusted when you said no chance of failure and you did one a while back and I didn't take it. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was Netflix on the earnings. It was here. Yeah. yeah, it was here. It was in this one. Take it, and I was kind of pissed. And when you said today, I just put all my, uh, I, I put all my faith in your no chance of failure. And I left and had no idea. I was down <laughs> 50 bucks on my purchase. I left and went to the bank and to lunch, and and uh, it was it was down. Mm -hmm. uh, but I still wasn't worried about it. I mean, it, you know, I, you knew I wasn't worried about it if I took off at 11:30 my time, which I live in California. Uh -huh. I came home. I saw you called me and I could tell you were excited and I listened to the message and then you told me and my I was hoping to see it go to 525, 530. I was just going to be doing freaking somersaults and jumping. <laughs> It's just so funny, though, how life comes around like full circle, because this is what you were trying to accomplish with yourself before you met me at the last place that and then then you then it didn't work out. You didn't learn anything from that person. And then you found me and I don't exactly do options, but I teach you what the stock's going to do and see how it's come full circle for you. So you ended up fulfilling what you always wanted to do anyways. You're doing it now. Absolutely. But I do. I do enjoy shorting the gaps. And I love rating the 26 point gap rating, and and I understand that. I love it. I'm actually very good at it. I know you are good at it because I know you are good at it. Yeah. Um. But what I what I wish I could do is I wish I could see what you see, uh, before it happens when you call the no chance of failure, uh, 
you know, six hours before it happened. <laughs> I would be a millionaire in one year. Honestly, yeah. I, I, a surf dog, like the market too. I mean, the way I'm seeing the market, these numbers, like this number, the, this this number was never on the chart. 500 was never on Netflix on the chart before. The Where that I'm seeing some of these things where they've never been at the numbers before, I don't know. And if I, if I, as soon as I figure it out, what I know in reference to that, I'll teach it. I don't know how I see something like this, to be completely 100% honest with you, that it would be at these numbers. I don't know. I, that's why I'm like, I feel very, very grateful for for what I that I have the ability to do it. But I, I have to say, it's it's everything, the culmination of the gaps. Doing gaps for so long now, for seven years, and reading price in the way that I do with the way money acts in the market is what allows me to be able to see these numbers that things have never hit that they're going to get there. I see the capability that they have to get there because I'm reading the money. I don't know if that makes any sense. That's that's the only thing that I can describe it right now. Like the no chance of failure thing, when I call it in a short or a long, I don't really teach that, as you know. It's just me. That's just me, Melissa Armo, saying no chance of failure, and then we do it full throttle as a day trader, like with this. Like, this is the first time that I ever said, um, you know, because I've really only been starting to say this no chance of failure, like, in the last year and a half. It's like, I mean, really, I... This is far beyond even the rating system to even see these kinds of numbers. Like for me to even say that the SPY is going to 300, but I am telling you that there is no chance of failure the SPY is going to 300. No chance of failure the SPY is going to 300. And I saw that last year in the fall. And I don't know if it happens this year, 2016, although it very well could happen this year. And I don't know how I see that, Surf Dog. But I mean, just go with it. Like you're doing it. You're doing the stuff I taught you in the intraday. You're doing it with the options. You're, you have the conviction and you're willing to take the risk. I mean, the biggest thing is if you're not willing to take the risk, how are you going to make any money? If you didn't risk $500 today, you would never make ten grand. You were willing to put the money on the line. You had the faith and trust and conviction in me and what I taught you and the power of the gap. It's really the gap power that you had the conviction in besides me and the no chance of failure. But, I mean, like, I don't even know how I see this is going to 300, but I'm telling you it is. And there's no chance of failure in this, too. No chance of failure in this is going to 300 in the spy. And it could be 2015 or 2016. Again, that's the thing about options is the timing. But that's why, like, this thing here is great to do because you're up so quick. And again, I like stuff quick, quick, quick. I like the fast money, too, very, very quickly. And this is fast money. I and mean, you can't get any faster than this. The stock rallied $52 in five minutes. This is incredible. You can't get out of it till tomorrow, though, right? Right, right. I can't get out until tomorrow, five minutes after the open. I really have to see what this looks like in the morning which I can't even say right now because this is so crazy. This could do anything between 6 o'clock tonight and 9.30 tomorrow morning. But I don't I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be a long intraday tomorrow or not. I know people are going to try to short this intraday, which is insanity. But I don't know if it'll be a long play intraday, if it'll hold in the sky, or if it'll come in on the day. And I can't say anything until I rate it in the morning because this is like too far away from the timing to even say because this could rally another $25 from here or come in another 10 It's like too much to say. But it's going to hold above 520 520 it's going to hold above. 515, 520, 525 or really should hold above by tomorrow morning. I don't I don't know if this runs all the way up tomorrow over 550, though. I won't know until I see the gap in the morning and really rate the gap and see it. Um, but either way, you're in the money here like way, way great. So good job. Good job, and I'm sorry to hear about your father. Where are you going? Uh, where are you traveling to? Uh, I'm, I'm headed uh, to the Central Coast. Okay. Well, have a safe trip. Let's have a safe trip, and I will see you tomorrow morning in the room. And thank you for sharing with everyone here what you did. I appreciate that. We'll have to figure out next time how to see your screen so you can show me what you did exactly with the contracts and everything. Yeah, I, I actually, you know what I'm going to do, uh, Melissa, and thank you. Thank you for the no chance of failure. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, I'm going to take You owe me a dinner, by the way. You, you you have to, this is a steak dinner on you at Bruce Chris after this. You make $10,000 in my call tonight. You're taking me out the next if, time. If, if I end up making $10,000, I may fly out and take <laughs> Yeah, and I'm off his side in like five days so I can actually have wine again. <laughs> That's awesome. I will snap a picture 
of this right now, and I'm going to send it. Yeah, to email it to me. And it'll show you my contracts. Okay, wonderful. And then let me know what you end up doing with it. If you take it out tomorrow or Friday or how much you end up making in it, you have to let me know. Well, of course, I'm going to be in class. Hey, I'm probably not going to sleep today. <laughs> taken a five thousand dollar risk on this i would have made a hundred grand in five minutes i mean that i can't tell you how excited that makes me because i knew there was no chance of failure it's like i know that i could have risked five thousand on this and made money do you know what i'm saying like i mean it's just a matter of me figuring out like what i want to do like i know i could have done it i would have made a hundred thousand dollars yeah absolutely i'm actually taking a picture of it right now so i can actually send it to you okay yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see how well. Oh, I see. I gotta shut my blinds here. So to be clear. Oh yeah, you're gonna you'll you'll see here. You'll even see that it shows probably. How do I focus? Okay, so now I can send this to you. Let me text. I think I got you in my text already. Yeah, let me see it. Uh, let's see. How many years have you been trading options again? Since 2000. Okay, so a good amount. That's a good amount of time. 15 yeah, years. I didn't trade five years off. I didn't trade from uh, 2007 to 2012. I didn't trade. Okay. I took, I, I lost too much money because the other people I was involved with didn't know what they were doing. Well, that's okay. Look at this. I mean, this is what I'm saying. It comes full circle. You're making more than you could have ever dreamed now with this. You'll make all that back and more. You know how to do it now. You know how to do it. So, you know. Okay, well, give me your phone number. I'm going to send this to you. 602-799-5754. 602. You got to slow down. I'm a hippie surfer dude. 799-5754. <laughs> Seven. Seven oh two. Huh? 602? Yeah. 602. Seven nine nine fifty seven fifty four. Fifty seven fifty four. So send that to me and one more quick question here I want to ask you before we close up for the night. So can you do you have so you have one trading account that you day trade in and then you do the options in that same account and you do it all in the same account, right? Yes, I do. Okay. I thought people might be interested in that. Just thought you'd be good to share that. Yeah, if if I got to where if I made another another ten thousand, if I make if I make five or six thousand to ten thousand tomorrow, mm -hmm. and then take another ten thousand in the next month or two, mm -hmm. then I'd probably change brokers. Just for shorting and, and doing what you do, uh -huh. because uh, there are times that you call certain stocks and I can't short them. Yeah, you got to have a broker that has good shorts. And But lately, I've been able to. I've been kind of surprised. Yeah, it's a little bit blurry. I sent it to you, but you know what? If you blow this up, it does show my calls. And you can see them, and it shows quantity five, days two, and then as you scroll down, it shows, you'll see there, profit and loss when the market closed okay. today. It showed a $7.50 profit. Yeah, I see it. The market closed. I was at a break even, even with my commissions. I was at break even before this gap. Great. Well, so it, it will be profitable well, when, when tomorrow rolls around. Yeah, I mean, this is fantastic. So we'll see. We'll see. Come in the room in the morning. I'll look at the gap in the morning. I don't even want to think about anything with it right now for tomorrow. But and tomorrow morning, I'll look at it. 
rate in and we'll see if I think it's going to carry through tomorrow and you can make a decision if you want to hold it through another day. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll come in, I'll come in a little bit early. In fact, I may be in way early. <laughs> you are too funny. <laughs> All right, Surf Dog. Thanks for doing this tonight. Everyone, this is Surf Dog. He went over his beautiful, fabulous, perfect, no chance of failure Netflix option tonight. Great call here by me, the Sox Wish. Have a fantastic evening, everyone. If you have any questions about anything, just email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. And thank you so much, Surf Dog, for talking tonight. All right. Have, have a great night. Thank you, Melissa. You too. Good night. Bye-bye.